living. So I have a bunch of questions that people have asked us and I'm going to present some of them to Kevin so that he can give his point of view because it's not necessarily my area of knowledge. So okay. Kevin, people always want to know how large is your RV? We have a fifth wheel and it is uh, 36 feet long, eight foot wide and about 13 foot six inches high. About the same volume as a semi truck. We pull this with a pickup truck. Uh, this the one we got was designed for pulling. So it has a diesel motor in it, which is fantastic for pulling. It's a 250 Dodge uh, with a receiver in it. Um, and it's a long bed. Long bed, uh, eight foot long bed, which is not typical, but it's worked out very well for us. We do have friends who have short bed pickup trucks and pull a fifth wheel and they've actually cracked their back window making a tight turn. We will never have that problem because we have that long bed. Mm -hmm. And when we carry our bike and kayak rack with us, how much length does that add to the back? We bought a customized rack to put on the fit, uh, trailer receiver on the back of the RV. It sticks out approximately three feet, three and a half feet. Okay. Do you find that that causes trouble when you're trying to maneuver into like the, particularly the, the spaces up at Fort Wilderness? Up at Fort, yes, it did cause an issue um, between your wheels and the back of your trailer is quite a distance. So when you pivot, it swings out very quickly. You know, without spotters like Donna to watch out, I probably would have hit many more trees. <laughs> we, yeah, we kind of grazed little saplings up at camp. We didn't actually hit any trees, no. so that's good. Okay, and what kind of miles per gallon do you get when you tow the RV? Having never had an RV or a truck, we didn't know what to expect. Um, friends who have other RVs and stuff gave us some ideas, and they were getting what we thought was terrible gas mileage. Uh, they were down into the low single digit places. So seven, eight, nine, ten 10 miles per, per gallon is what they were getting, which is like, whoa. And so we got a diesel. This is a, a new 2020 Ram uh, set up for towing. Uh, perfect for what we're doing. Gas mileage, um, well, without pulling anything, we're getting anywhere from, in the cities, 22 to 26 miles per gallon. It really depends on what type of driving you do, like a car. Towing cuts that in half. Um, it is varied anywhere from 10 miles to a gallon. Probably up the best we've ever gotten is 14. Um, it really depends on what you're driving over. If you're going so, to the mountains, you're gonna be down in 10. Or if you're doing a real long, slow grade. Yep. Yeah, it anything looks flat, that, but it's not flat. If your engine's got a downshift into lower gears, yeah, you're, you're eating up gas. But I guess according to most people who are full-time RVing, we get great gas mileage. Okay, excellent. Um, how scary was it to learn? I mean, you've driven full-size vans and large utility trailers all of your business life with Nelson Clean Care. Correct. How much different or difficult was it to learn to back this up and maneuver this? I didn't think it'd be any problem at all. It's like, it's just a little bit bigger. Um, quickly realized that this is a whole different ball game. And you can't just turn over your shoulder and look because there's a great big massive trailer behind you. So you have to rely upon mirrors. Mm -hmm. um, we got Donna out there. She tried to to help you back up that had his own issues because trying to communicate we can't hear each other uh, she points one way and i've been looking backwards and just learning which way to turn the steering wheel is a learning curve um, where did you learn how to do this our first practice was uh, we set up at Walkshop bible church when we first got going got through all our belongings found what we had so right before we left we hooked it up and Set up some cones and practice in the parking lot of Waukesha Bible Church. Watch a lot of videos. Videos only go so far. 
ran over a few cones. Yes, uh, multiple times. Of, but he didn't run over his wife. Yeah. Um, but we felt, yeah, I got, got this now. So we took off. It still took us probably a year to really feel comfortable with pulling. Pulling on the expressway is really pretty easy. Once you get moving, uh, we just, like a semi-truck, we usually get in the right-hand lane and don't feel like you're trying to compete with cars because they're going to zoom past you no matter where you go. Uh, we, we travel very well. 